You are very welcome to Safuba Foods TV. Brellers, layers, which is more profitable? Today I can confidently confirm, demonstrate, prove, and even show beyond doubt that broiler farming is more profitable than layer farming. Broilers are targeted for the meat industry, while layers are targeted for the egg industry. Broilers originated from the United States of America. Currently, there are only four countries, which is the major producer of broilers in this world. United States, China, Europe, and Brazil. Now let's get to reason why I said broiler farming is more, more profitable than layer farming. Now let's assume that a broiler farmer and a layer farmer are going to start with 1,000 chickens for 72 weeks because the laying capacity of a layer is 72 weeks. So let us use the 72 weeks as a benchmark. Now let's get started with the layer farmer. Layer farmers normally refill their coop with day old chicks when their layers are getting old or when it is getting to the end of the 72 weeks. Now let's assume that crate of egg is $2. The number of bears or the chicken are 1,000. The, the layers are laying at 90% rate at the end of the 18 weeks, which means the layer farmer is getting 30 crates in a day at 90% rate laying capacity. If a crate of egg is $2, that means the layer farmer is earning $60 because $2 times 30 crates of eggs would give you $60. Now, let's come to week 6. For week 6, the layer farmer is getting $2,520. We are converting it into weeks, week 6 because at week 6, the broiler farmer chicken would get ready or would be ready for the market. So we are converting it or comparing it according to week six. So for week six, week six times 60, week six would give you 42 days. So for the week six, the layer farmer is going to earn $2,520. Now let's come to the 72 weeks which is the total life cycle or laying capacity of the poultry layer. Now we are going to divide 72 weeks by six weeks and we are going to get 12, which means every six weeks is $2,520. So we are going to multiple, multiply 2000 $520 by 12, which means the layer farmer, every six weeks, he or she is going to get $2,520 by 12 times before the layer or the laying cycle ends. So if the layer farmer is able to get $2,520 by 12. At the end of the laying cycle, it is going to give him or her $30,240. It is a lot. Now the 72 weeks has ended and the layers are no more laying. So the layer farmer has to sell his old layers. He's going to sell them $3 each and when we multiply thousand by three dollars he is going to get three thousand in addition with the thirty thousand two hundred and forty dollars in total at the end of the 72 weeks the layer farmer with thousand chicken is going to earn thirty three thousand two hundred and forty dollars let him repeat it again thirty three thousand two hundred and forty dollars 
All these are on assumption that they are laying at 90% rate. And out of the thousand, neither died. Out of this total of $33,240, the layer farmer is going to subtract feeding cost, labor cost, medicine cost, and other miscellaneous cost. And mind you, the layer farmer is never going to get 90% laying throughout. Now let's get to the broiler farmer. The broiler farmer is starting with 1,000 chicken. Now let's assume that the six weeks has reached. Now the broiler farmer is taking his chicken to the market. The broiler farmer is selling each broiler at $5 in the market. For the first six weeks, the broiler farmer is going to get $5,000. Now the broiler farmer is going to use this $5,000 to refill his coop, which means he's going to buy another new broiler chicken. Every six weeks, the broiler farmer is going to use the money to buy new DO chicks till 72 weeks, which is also the end of the layer farmer laying cycle. 72 weeks divided by 6 is going to give you 12. Which means every 6 weeks, the broiler farmer is going to earn $5,000. And if we multiply these 6 weeks by the 12, the broiler farmer, at the end of 72 weeks, the broiler farmer is going to gain $60,000. In this $60,000, the broiler farmer is going to subtract the cost of the feed, medication, labor costs, and other miscellaneous costs. So in summary, the layer farmer who is starting with 1,000 chicken, at the end of 72 weeks, the layer farmer is going to earn $33,240. And the broiler farmer, who is also starting with 1,000 chicken. At the end of 72 weeks, the broiler farmer is going to earn $60,000. In terms of profitability, broiler farming is more profitable. And in terms of marketing, then layer farming is good because it takes an adult to buy a one full chicken and it takes a primary student to buy an egg. So in terms of marketing, layer farming is more beneficial. And in terms of profitability, broiler farming is more good. If you don't have bias or full container refrigerator, then go for your layers. So you see, I've proved, demonstrated, and show beyond that broiler farming is more profitable than layer farming. If today is your first time of hearing this wonderful voice, please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. If you think, anything you think, anything you think, If you have any idea about what I've proved, please let me know in the comment section. God richly bless you. If God willing, we shall meet again. Bye-bye. Thank you.